Eosinophils are part of white blood cells. They have two main roles. First is to kill parasites such as worms. Eosinophils contain these small vesicles which is called granules. Inside them there is a toxic substance. They migrate and they attack to infected area and they release this toxic substance and it is called degranulation. Another role of eosinophils is uh, allergy and inflammation generally. They migrate to uh, inflammation area, they release cytokines, leukotrienes and granular proteins and they increase inflammation. That's why eosinophils is considered symbol of allergy. For example, if patients have elevated eosinophils, what we think first? We think first allergy. It's in most cases it is allergy. In 40% of cases it is asthma, atopic dermatitis or other allergic rhinitis. Another common cause of eosinophil elevation is parasitic infections. In 20% cases it's parasitic infection. In 10% cases it is autoimmune disorders such as lupus erythromatosus or rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis. Much rare is eosinophilic esophagitis and rare also is malignancies such as leukemia or lymphoma in 3% of cases. So if person comes with elevated eosinophils, first is asthma. If person has chronic cough, wheezing, difficulty breathing, shortness of breath, it's asthma. If person has weight loss, abdominal pain, fever, it can be parasitic infection. If person has joint pain, joint stiffness, morning stiffness, it can be rheumatoid arthritis. If person has difficulty swallowing, food uh, impaction, regurgitation, heartburn, it can be eosinophilic esophagitis. If person, uh, if person has unexplained weight loss uh, or weak immune system such as recurrent infections, easy bruising, bleeding, it can be malignancies. Also, uh, elevated eosinophils can be absolute, relative, or both of them can be elevated. What it means? Absolute elevation means when eosinophil count is elevated. Relative elevation means percentage in white blood cells are elevated. Normal percentage is 1 to 6 of eosinophils. Normal count is 0 to 500. That's why, because 0 can be normal, it is difficult to identify decreased um, eosinophil levels, but it's still possible, especially if we have, if we have history and if we have symptoms which can be which can be explanation of zero eosinophils decreased eosinophils can be caused by acute bacterial infection in most cases and at this case the mechanism is increased neutrophils and increased neutrophils uh, decrease percentage of eosinophils Stre stress acute stress such as trauma surgery and barn and acute trauma can cause decreased eosinophils. Steroid therapy also in 20% of cases. Cushing syndrome is important cause. Uh, during Cushing syndrome cortisol level is increased. Patient has stretch marks uh, and, uh, uh, and easy bruising also. And cancers. Acute myeloid leukemia can cause decreased um, eosinophil levels. Normal range is 0 to 500 uh, count per uh, microliter. Mildly elevated is more than 500 but less than um, 1500 and significantly elevated is 1, 000, more than 1500. Now to summarize, eosinophils are very important in um, fight against parasites and um, in case of allergy. 
most common cause of elevation of, uh, of eosinophils is allergy and asthma. Another most common cause is parasitic infections such as worms. Decreased uh, eosinophils most common cause is acute bacterial infection and stress, acute stress. That's all. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.